we get a lot of calls from all over saying, I have a water heater. I, I, I need a water heater, a uh, tankless water heater. What size? So, you know, that, that's kind of a hard question to answer, except if you have the right data. So on our website is all the data that I'm going to show you now to try and explain it to you. With that said, whether you use this or not, whether you're going to buy from us or not, if you have any questions, call us. We will answer whatever questions you have happily. Whether you're buying from us or not, we will answer all the questions we have. But first thing we ask a customer when he says, I have a tankless water heater, um, which, what size do I need? Or I want a tankless water heater, what size do I need? Well, we tell them, what's your incoming water temperature? And most of the time, the answer we get is, I don't know. So we put this chart on there. Okay, as you can see, it's very hard to see, but here you got orange, yellow, blue, purple. And on there, on, on the website, we also have this, which tells you the purple up here, your incoming water temperature is between 35 and 40 degrees. Blue is 45 to 50 degrees. Yellow is 55 to 60 degrees. And orange, is 65 to 75 degrees. Now, why does that? Why does that important? Well, because we need to know what water we need to get, what temperature we need to get your water heater at. So, for example, if you're in Miami, our incoming water temperature is around 75 degrees. Okay, the average shower is going to be about 110 degrees. So, right there, we need 35 degrees of water temperature difference. But we want a cushion built in, so we want 45 degrees of, of extra temperature. So we go to this chart, which is also on our website, all right? And if I want the water temperature at 75, and I want a water flow, for example, you have two showers, um, you want three gallons per minute. Because if you have a 2.5 gallon per minute shower head, not all of that is going to be hot water. Most of it's going to be cold, or let's say 50-50. So at 2.5 gal gallon per minute shower head, that's 1.25 times two is 2.5 gallons. So if I want 2.5 gallons per minute, okay, and I have a seven, my incoming water temperature is 75 degrees, and I come down here, all I really need is an eight. Well, that's bare minimum. I'm not gonna recommend an eight in Miami for two showers. I'm gonna recommend a 13. So go to the next step up. Let's say your incoming, let's pretend our incoming water temperature is 70. Let's base, let's create a cushion. So in Miami, I'm going to tell you your incoming water temperature at 75 degrees for two bathrooms or two showers, you need a 13. Three showers, you need an 18. Four showers, you need a 27, and, and so forth. Now, here's the thing. Let's say you're in Michigan, okay? Your incoming water temperature is around 40 degrees, and you have two showers. Don't even bother with a 13. It isn't going to work. There's no way possible it can work for you. Hell, I'm not even sure an 18 will work for you. But if we go here and we see 45 degree incoming water temperature and we want three gallons per minute, you need a 27. So if you have two showers or two and a half showers in Michigan, you need a 27 kilowatt to run that. Don't bother to order a 13, whether it's for me, Home Depot, wherever you want to go and get it. Don't get a 13. It isn't going to work. You're going to have to return it. Get the right size. So you have all these things on our website. If this is confusing, and I know I'm not very good at explaining things. My kids tell me that all the time. So if I have confused you, make it simple. Call us. We will size it for you. We'll tell you what to do. We'll tell you how what we suggest you put. Because we've got all these charts in front of us. We will even try... Hopefully, Danny or George can do even even better job of explaining things than I can and try and explain this to you so that you guys understand what you want and what you need. Again, whether you buy from us or not, I don't really care. I mean, I care, obviously. I do want you to buy from me, but it's not a necessity. We will help you whether you buy from us or not. Please, just give us a call and let us try and help you. Once you call us, I'm sure you're not going anywhere else. We're that good.